Hello and welcome to the CDP Studio tutorial. We have a Wago controller with four I.O. modules attached. We are going to set up a small system that will allow us to set the inputs and outputs of those I.O. modules. Because we are deploying remotely to the Wago controller, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we are on the correct network and that CDP Studio can connect to it via SSH. To interface with the I.O. modules, we will need a Wago I.O. server in our system. The I.O. server component has to be configured with the I.O. modules that we have connected. If the configuration is incorrect, then it won't work. For each module I have connected, I will locate it in the list and add it to the I.O. server component. We have one digital input module, 431 then one digital output module, 530, also a analog output module, 554, and at last a analog input module, 454. With all the modules added, we just need to make sure that they are numbered correctly, starting with 0 for the inner one and 3 for the outer one. We don't have to specify the end module. And then we are ready to run the system. We choose the Wago as the device we are deploying to, and uh, we pick the correct toolkit. And then we run a system. With the system running, we can connect and start interacting with the I.O. modules. If you look closely, you can see these small LED indicators lighting up when the output module has its outputs activated. The indicators for the two first digital inputs also light up. This is because we have wired them to the two first digital outputs. We can inspect the signals coming from the digital input module and verify this. This is all for this tutorial. If you found this interesting, then you can check out our other tutorial videos.